What's going on, family? Got the Dorn Becker phone posits here. The authentic and the replica. Let's take a look at the insoles. The one on the right is the authentic, the one on the left is the uh, replica. As you can see, they're pretty off. The chain links are just a different direction. There's not as many on the replica. The logo is just... You don't even have the bottom of the bats coming out. You got the top. But you don't have the bottom of it sticking out. Okay, there, there you are right there. They're very, very skinny. You can barely see them. Right there and right there. Plus they're not outlined in the white. So that makes it even harder. Uh, let me show you the pull tab right here, the hang tag joint. The one on the left is the replica and the one on the right is the authentic. The signature and the logo is pretty much on point. The signature on the replica is a little bigger. But overall the tag is bigger on the replica. You see that's like a almost an inch longer on the bottom there. So it's just like the whole image is enlarged on the replica. Of course the authentic comes with the shoe trees. The replica just comes with some um, paper inside. Okay, on the authentic we have the uh of course they come with the extra red laces in the bag. But the uh the replicas do not have any extra laces. Also, on if you notice on the insole of the uh, the replicas, both of them are like this. But on the authentic, one of them is like this, and the other one has the uh, the latitude longitude on it, which is the uh, location of the Dornbacher Hospital. And the replica does not have the uh, that blue, that blue B right there. I'm assuming that's for uh, baseball. I could be wrong. Yeah, the reps don't have that on the back of the tongue. The boxes don't need much comparison on that because it's a total different box. The replica is coming in the, the orange Nike box, and you know the foams now come in these white boxes. This is the authentic label, and this is the rep label. As you can see, both of these are nine and a half that I will be comparing, and they are true to size. As you can see. Now the whole upper. They got the design down pretty much. For the most part. But the shading is off. The replica is like a real dark cherry red. The authentic is like a clay. Yeah that's a good way to describe it. It's like a clay red. It's like a lighter red. Some people were saying it's more orange than red. But it's not. It's definitely red, but it's like a uh, chalky red. Chalky or clay red, if that makes any sense. The soles is pretty much good. It's just a shade, shade uh, lighter, darker difference, you know, but it's barely noticeable up close. They're not side by side, you're not going to notice. Carbon fiber, of course, you got the replica. And you got the authentic. That plastic, and you got real carbon fiber here. Let's look at the bottoms. 
Not bad on the bottles. Not bad at all. But as you can see, the red doesn't come over the sole. Like it should. The replica just has the, uh, around the outside color. Doesn't come on the sole like that. Penny logo is on point, though. As you can see, the sole overall is pretty good, man. It looks damn near close to just the color of that red. And, of course, the um, carbon fiber is, is different. Okay, you guys look at the outer. Of course, all foam posit replicas right now is just... They don't have this material down or the like the pattern or the, the structure right because it kind of pops out as you can see when it should be going in. Like if you push it down, that's how it should be. Some reason they haven't fixed these phone pauses yet. I don't know why. The swoosh is on point right there on the toe box. Stitching looks to be on point in the structure. This part looks to be on point. It's just the shade of the color and that material is just off. Okay, we got a mostly black tongue on the authentic. And the replica, they put this red strip going down the middle. See the toe boxes are pretty much on point. The, leg, the logo on the tongue is much bigger than on the replica. Strings are the same. Pull tab on the tongue is the same. Let's take a look at the back. Logo is uh, pretty much on point. It's just the shading of that padded area that the logo sits on is a different shade. It's more of a... Uh, on the replica, it's more of a... Uh, like a pinkish red shade. It's just a different shade, man. Also, the logo on the authentic is a little more bolder. A little more bold. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's check out the uh, signature on the back pull tab. Looks like it's reversed on the wrap. See how it starts from the uh, top coming down. On the wrap, it starts from the bottom going up. And it's much smaller. And harder to read on the rep. You can see the back of the rep has these grooves right here in it, which shouldn't be there. The authentic, you can, doesn't have those grooves, doesn't have that engraved right there. Like it has some indent right here, but it's not like outlined like how that one is. Yeah, man, I think that's pretty much it. This is a look at the Dornbacker uh, replica compared to the Authentic. I don't think you should be fooled much if you're buying these on eBay or something. Somebody's trying to pull pull off the reps. They're pretty much noticeable. It's a lot of flaws, so you must not be looking at the pictures or they must be not showing you pictures if you get caught up buying these joints thinking they was the authentics alright man I'll let you guys later peace